Welcome back, DJ Vic Vapor with you, going through our editing tools. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at some of the buttons we have up here. You've probably seen me grabbing and moving them throughout the different lessons, but uh, haven't really taken time to explain them to you. So let's take a look at those now. We have our um, expand, kind of, you know, like zoom in. Vertic or zoom in, I'm sorry, horizontally and zoom in vertically right here. And it makes it a little easier to see the waveform and the material we're working on. However, there is a shortcut for that. And you simply hold down Command and then you use your arrow buttons on your keyboard. So arrow to the right is going to expand it and you can, if you watch, you can see the sliders indicating exactly what's happening up top. So that's command arrow to the right, command arrow to the left. It's going to zoom back in. And then, of course, holding down command going up makes it narrow. Going down expands it open for us. Additionally, there's shortcuts within the uh, department here on fades and things like that. So let me... this guy where I want it here. What we can do is simply click go back here fade tool hold down command and now and just wipe that guy out. All right, so if you hold Control and Shift, high, or click right there and drag out and let go, it's going to give us a fade out. Control and Shift, I click here, drag out, it's going to give us a fade in. And that's with using our pointer tool. We didn't have to go up here, we didn't have to go hit T, we didn't have to select anything. Simply Control and Shift, gave us that fade in and fade out options. And then control and shift, you continue to hold, and you can you can shape that as you need, see, need fit there. Control and shift. So that just a quicker way than actually grabbing those or hitting T for the menu. You don't have really have to go from tool to tool if you know the keyboard shortcut, which is control and shift to get the fade in and fade out. And then if I don't want it, I simply drag it off and it is done. And then this control shift, I drag it out, it's done. So a couple quick easy shortcuts there on the keyboard to zoom in, zoom out, and to avoid maybe grabbing, let me see, control, or is it, is it, If you, if you take the pointer outside of the source material, hit Option, then you've got Zoom, Control, Option, Control, Option, if you hold down Control and Option, you've got the Zoom here, and then you can highlight and zoom in, and then of course, just click your way back like before. So Control, Option, Control is another shortcut. You don't have to go grab the zoom tool. You can simply zoom in and zoom out right there by holding Option and Control. So a couple quick, easy, additional uh, editing tool features that um, come in handy. Knowing the shortcuts is always a better, uh, better way to increase your workflow. Let's continue to move on to the next lesson.